hello lovely people welcome back to my channel thank you all for returning if it's your first time thanks for stopping by family i do appreciate you all thanks for the love and support today i share with you how i use the cold press method to make my palm kernel oil at home previously i brought you how to make palm kernel oil at home using the hot press method but honestly between these two i will always choose this method which is the cold press method without further ado let's begin obviously you will need palm kernel and i've got them here i'm going to crack them to get the nuts out and family we will continue from there so keep watching if you want to see how i'm going to get my palm kernel oil using the cold press method the nuts are here and they've been washed nicely i'm going to blend them beautifully until they are nice and smooth and guys as we go along as always towards the end of the video i will mention some of the benefits of palm kernel oil for the body for the hair so go nowhere if you want to see all of them okay this method is similar to how i made my coconut oil using the cold press method so if you haven't seen the video on how i made my coconut oil Using both the cold press method and the hot press method, I'll leave the links in the description box below. Check them out for your own convenience. I will also leave the link to how I made my palm kernel oil using the hot press method below in the description box. I've got a lot of oil videos from Carrot Oil. You just name them. Check them all out and you will love them. Since you are making the oil using the cold press method, you will need the sun to extract the oil. That is why I brought it into the sun for the sun to extract the oil for us. Few hours later, the sun has been able to extract some oil for us. And can you see that on top of the cream and cream? Yes, I'm so happy with this result. However, if there is no sun at the moment in your area, you can put the cream and cream in a warm area for days. And the warm condition will help extract the oil for you. You can as well use hot bottle water, place it on the cream and curd, and it will also work just fine. I demonstrated all of that for you when I was making my cold pressed coconut oil during the winter time. So if you check my coconut oil video out using the cold press method, you see all of them well demonstrated. Now we are back in the kitchen and I'm loving this so far. Because the more the oil stays in the sun, the more oil the sun helps extract from the cream and curd. Also, how much oil you get depends on how much oil the kernel nuts contains. If your kernel nut has less oil, it doesn't matter how long you stay in the sun or you stay in a warm area. It will still produce less oil. And the opposite is true. So now I'm going to transfer the oil into a container and use it. However, you can as well put the whole bowl or the whole cream and curd in the freezer. Once it's frozen and it's out, you use your knife to cut off the cream and curd and water part, leaving the oil part, and then you use the sun again to melt the oil out. And this time around, you'll see only the oil without the cream and curd or water. And guys, you'll be done making your cold press palm kernel oil at home is that simple okay so now i'm transferring the oil into a container make sure some of the water or cream and curd do not sneak its way into the oil you are transferring into the container or else it wouldn't last long on the shelf family don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up don't forget to comment just leave me a comment down below and i'll answer them all in due course okay don't forget to also share for others to see and i really appreciate it kindly help me share the video let's spread the word okay i'm not all done yet i don't want the water or the cream and curd to sneak its way into the oil so i'm going to use the hot press method to dry out the water and extract more oil from the cream and curd so now let's put this on the side it's so pure it's so clean it smells so good I'm loving this. Ooh, this is so beautiful. Now let's use the hot press method to extract more oil from the cream and curd. After mixing it up, I'll pour it into the saucepan and I'll let it simmer 
until all the water dries out. Palm kernel oil has so many benefits and is good for cooking, it's good for the skin and hair as well. It's good for dry skin, it's low in cholesterol, it is rich in antioxidants, it increases hair growth, it helps to detoxify the body, it's good for diabetes, it's also packed with vitamin A and vitamin K, it regulates blood pressure, it gives you healthy and beautiful skin, it reduces weight and protection from UV rays, and so many more. Okay, so now I'm going to transfer the little oil that I got from the cream and care into the container. And that will be it here. However, you'll be able to get more oil from the cream and curd if you let it continue to simmer and fry so all the water dry out and it turns brown or golden brown. Also, if it turns brown or golden brown, you can add honey and brown sugar to it to exfoliate your skin. And your skin will look so nice and beautiful. Now, let's discard the cream and curd. And woo, I love this. It's also clear and pure. Family, so we are all done. Can you see that? It also looks nice, pure, so clear. I love it so much. Woo, beautiful. So that is it, family. For more of these videos, please follow your girl on Instagram, like my Facebook page, follow me as well on Facebook and Subscribe to my YouTube channel for us to do this amazing family together. Okay. And now let me add the palm kernel oil I got using the hot press method in my previous video. I'll leave the link down below. Check it out for your own convenience. Okay. Thank you all for watching. See you all again in my next video. Until then, stay blessed. Stay safe. Take care. Bye. Kiss.